hello and welcome to the latest craft mania sunday showcase i am jamie and i'm going to be your host today as i take you through some brand new dies now these are very um unique they're different to anything we've bought you before they're like medallion doily style dies and i have a whole seven of them to tease you with but before we move on to that we need to pick our very lucky winner from last week's raffle now, if you did watch last week's Sunday Showcase, or if you was lucky enough to get hold of some of the dies from that, for every die you purchased, we gave you a free raffle ticket. Now, it doesn't matter if you purchased online or in one of our stores, everybody got a free ticket, and we've collected them up, popped them all in this one pot, and we're now going to pick the lucky winner to see who's going to get the £50 worth of vouchers. So I'll let our lovely camera lady pick our winner, just so you can see it's not fixed. We'll give them a bit of a shuffle around, and we have our one ticket. So our winner is number 72 on a pink ticket, and that is a lady called Dee. Now I believe I know who Dee is actually, and she's gonna be incredibly tough with that because she's not very well at the moment. So congratulations Dee, uh, we'll be in contact, but you've got 50 pounds worth of vouchers that you can spend in store or online whenever you wish to. So congrats to her. Let's move on and show you some of the lovely things we have for you today. So as I said, we have seven new types of die. Now these are our doily style die. So it's two sizes, two different sizes to, to show you. We're gonna start off by looking at the smaller ones. Now these are different, they do differ, but they're approximately about a three inch die. And then we'll move on to some slightly larger ones. So this is die number one. As you can see, it's really beautiful. And when they actually cut, they're full of really intricate work. Um, one of the nice bits I like about all of the dyes I'm going to show you today is you can truly dress them up for just about any occasion. Uh, if you want them for birthdays, Christmas, it doesn't really matter. You can leave them flat like this one, or of course you can fold them up a little bit like I have with this. To do that, it's really simple. I'll show you on one of these, just so you can see how quick it is. All you're going to do is just pinch in the middle of the ovals and work your way round and as you complete your doily, you will find that it will actually cup up and give you a bit of shape. Now these are quite nice because obviously we can put different bits in the middles of them and 3D items are a much nicer thing to work with as well. But if you want to keep them flat for postage, you can. Doily number one is only 3 99 Your code this week, we're just going to call them die one to seven. So this is die one. So if you are, are ordering via phone, or by text, or even if you want to uh, request to have them held on Facebook or YouTube, please don't forget to use the codes. It makes it much easier for me. So this is code die number one, and it's only 3 99 if you wish to buy it on its own. Moving on, we have die number two. Now this one's quite beautiful. It's got a, a nice sort of scalloped edge around the side of it. Quite nice points again. And it also embosses this nice bit in the middle too. Again, I've shaped one of them for you just to get an idea. And I've left one flat, but of course you'll get to see a lot of these on my card. Again, this one is only 3 99 Moving on to die number three, slightly different design. Again, we're still on the small one. So again, approximately three inches. I folded this one again, and I thought this was quite nice because it looks a bit like a parasol or an umbrella, which of course there's quite a lot you could do with them, especially if you are doing 3D, 3D projects that might come in quite handy. Or you could turn it and fill it full of flowers and things like that. There's lots you could do with these. Moving on, we go to our slightly larger dies. Now again, this is just gorgeous and so intricate cut again. And, and you can shape them if you want to again or leave them flat. There's just no wrong with these, they're so beautiful. This one is die number four. Now we are going slightly bigger this time. These ones are approximately four inches and this one is 5.99. I love this one cut out of the glitter card. If you haven't used that glitter card before, it die cuts really, really well. And uh, this is one of the pieces you'll actually be getting in your essentials pack to give you a bit of a sneaky peek on that. And again, you can see you can shape them if you want to so that this one sort of come up a bit and then the bits in the middle have even shaped up. And these are perfect if you want to add little gems or rhinestones to them. It really is a beautiful design. Moving on, we have die number five. Now this one is one of my favorites. I think this is beautiful. Uh, again, it's 5.99, again, approximately four inches. Once again, you can leave them flat like I have in the gold, which is just really screaming out to be put onto a Christmas card in my world. Um, but there's, again, so many things you can do with them. This one's one of your ice gold, your, your white pearl card ice gold. Again, this is gonna be in your essentials pack today. And this one, again, I've just pinched the sides to make it a bit shaped. And I really like all these little bits in the middle that sort of come off. Again, perfect if you wanna add pearls or rhinestones to that one. 
really lovely design. Worth saying with all of these, especially like when you look at intricate ones like this, some people would be thinking, oh, that's never gonna cut and that's gonna be a pain to get the bits out of. These really are very easy to work with. They've done a very good job on designing these and they do cut like a dream. Moving on, this one's slightly different. This one's design six. Now where all of the others have had sort of really intricately scalloped edges, this one's obviously just a flat circle with all of your work done in the middle. I wasn't so sure about this one when we got these. I, I felt this one might be a bit of a near one. But working with it, I really, really love it. And I actually think it's become one of my favourites as the day has gone on. This is design six, a die six for those ordering by code. Again, it's only 5 99 and again, approximately four inches. This one doesn't necessarily lend itself so much for shaping, but it is such a beautiful design and we can use it in quite a few different ways. I think this is actually the one I've used the most of today. And I also quite like the idea of using it as a stencil. Because of the work is so intricate in the middle and it's got that filled in edge, if you wanted to, there's no reason you couldn't cut them out of some, of some scrap card and ink through them and use them as stencils. I'm sure you could do that with all of them, but this one just struck me as one that would be really nice to do that with. For our last one, as I said, we've got seven to choose from today. Design seven, again, approximately four inches, again, only 5 99 Now, these are big old eyes for that money. I, I know if we were looking at other brands, we would be doubling, if not tripling, these prices. So I think, I think these are really quite a good little bargain to be got here. Again, I've shown you here how we can shape it just by pinching the sides. This time I've cupped it up. This time I've sort of cupped it down and brought the middle out. So it's one of them I'm trying to show you. There's lots of different ways you can fold them about if you do want to shape them. Or of course you can just leave well alone and keep them flat. Now I know I've got seven very different dies for you to choose from. And at this price, it's not going to be too much of a challenge to pick up several of them. So if you are heading for a lot and, and you can't pick between them, why not buy all of them? And for this, we're going to give you a, a mega bundle offer for the week. <coughs> so if you was to buy all seven individually, that would cost you £35.93p. But this week and this week only, you can buy all seven in your mega bundle for just £30. Now, if you're wondering what that makes them per die, that makes them less than £4.30 a die. Which, as again, big old dies. Very silly price, £4.30 is silly money. So if you do like the idea of all of them, why not get all seven in one go? And then you've got them for every occasion you could think of. So of course, not only do we have our dies to tempt you with today, we have an essentials bundle. Now our essential bundles have become incredibly <coughs> um, in high demand, shall we say. Everybody seems to want to get their hands on our essential bundles. And these are really impressive. There's so much that we jam into these. And you do save big. It works out, you save about a third. So today's essentials pack, I should call it, not bundle, sorry, uh, has a retail price of 17 99 But you can purchase the pack for just £12. <coughs> now, in your pack, you will receive several 12 by 12s but I want to show you these because they're beautiful and we've really tried to choose you some of the nicest 12 by 12s we could. So this one for instance has your really nice panelling on the front then your ivy coming over the top of it. On the back of it it has this really lovely ornate scroll work which looks as if it's been embossed but it hasn't and I, I quite like that because especially if you don't want your cards to be too thick sometimes it's nice to have printed papers that can give you the look of embossed work without actually having it of course with all of our papers I'm going to be showing you they also have these nice bars across the bottom for you to cut off and use if you want to add them onto your projects as well and they usually have quite nice sayings or patterns on them we also have our really small floral design. Now this is one that we used in a lesson not that long ago and was incredibly popular, but we've managed to get hold of a bit more of it so we could bring it to you today in your essentials pack. And it's one of my favorites. Not only do you get your really nice floral on one side, on the reverse of it, we also get these nice white dots on the green background with a little bit of script work in the middle of it. So quite a lovely paper. Of course, being double-sided, you can choose which side you wish to use. Coming over here, now this one, I'll give you two of this in your pack because I used um, one sheet per card and actually made two different cards. So I didn't want you to look at the things I've made and felt, oh, well, I can't do both of them. So instead, we've give you enough so you can pick which one you want to do. So on one side, you're getting the really lovely green flowers on white background. And then on the back of it, you've got the dots that you can see here. So you're going to get two of those in your packet to fill out your, um, your options. 
And then we also have for your last 12 by 12. Now this one's a bit different. This one is your border 12 by 12. But with this, and I know you're probably not going to like all of the elements of it, although I do actually. I use this to make one of my very favourite scrapbook pages I've ever made of me and my other half going out for cake um, at a very posh restaurant and it fitted in really well. But it might not be your cup of tea. But I do really like the borders from it. So I've shown you at the bottom here how if you don't like all of it, cut it up into strips and you can use them just as really nice decorative borders. On the reverse of it, we also have quite a nice floral blue sort of backing as well, which again has quite a lot of uses. On top of your 12 by 12 designs, we're also giving you quite a bit of ribbon this week. So you're going to get half a metre of our satin ribbon. This is your white satin ribbon and it's very cleverly done. So you get that sort of two tone effect from it. We're also going to be giving you a metre of this navy sheer ribbon, which has a satin edge. That's your thin piece of that because we're also going to be giving you a thicker piece too. And these are new, they've literally just arrived in store this week and I really like these and I think they make lovely bows, especially with the satin edges. They come in lots of colours, so if, um, if you like the look of the ribbon but you're not so sure about the navy, do pop in store, you'll see them in lots of different shades and thicknesses. We also are giving you a metre of our grey and white tartan ribbon, which again is great, there's lots we can do with that and dress that up for many occasions. Then A4 cardstock, you're going to be getting four sheets of the green, three sheets of the blue, two sheets of craft card. Hidden in the back here, we're also giving you 10 sheets of your ice gold white pearl card. Now you may remember this from a video a couple of weeks ago when we did a lot of inking on the ice gold and it gave you that really nice gold sheen coming through your colours. Again, I can show you that today on some of my samples. It really is lovely to ink over or stamp on, um, but it is a great card stop to work with. So you're gonna get all of them, another 10 sheets of them. We're then giving you three sheets of that glitter card. Now this is a non-shed ultra fine glitter card. Uh, you wouldn't want to with this one, but it's so fine that you can actually stamp on it and color on it as well as die cut it. Uh, it comes in a whole host of colors. Uh, but this time you're getting this really beautiful teal. So I think that's going to be popular. We're also giving you a couple of card blanks as well. We do quite a few different pearl card blanks in store. So we just wanted to give you a little bit of a tease with these. So you're going to get two card blanks, pearl card blanks, with matching pearl envelopes. And then again, quite a few of my cards today have been done on normal three-fold aperture cards. So we're going to give you two of the circle aperture card and two envelopes to go with them as well. And then lastly, you're also going to get a packet of lines of rhinestones. Now these are glued into lines, so when you peel them off, they all stay in one line and we can use them to go around frames and Christmas baubles, which you'll get to see in a minute, along with many other things. But they're perfect for a lot of your crafting needs. So that's your essentials pack. As I say, it is worth, if you were to buy all the items individually, $17.99. But if you do wish to buy it as your big essentials pack this week, it is only £12. Now I will urge you, if you like the look of this, get in very, very quickly. These have been flying off the shelves the last couple of weeks and we've truly been struggling to keep up with demand. So don't miss out if you do want one guinea while you've got it. So with that in mind, let's show you how I've used some of these dies and some of these um, Essentials Pack products to create what I've been making for you today to have a little nose at. So the first one I've created is our blue card. Now, as I said earlier, I have used this paper twice in two different ways. So this is my first one. And I wanted to explain to you how I've made these because they're a bit different. And you can, of course, use them for whatever doilies you've got. So on my one, I've sized this so it fits doily size two or, or die two. They're the smaller ones, basically, the 3 99 ones. So how I've actually created these, and the green one's the same, but we'll chat about that one in a minute, is by taking an A4 sheet of card. So this is your A4 sheet, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to work this out. So first of all, I wanted to know how big my doily was, so I measured it to make sure that I was on the right size card. I Basically, let me explain that in more detail, there's no point scoring this to cut out the, the sort of topper part of it, and then finding that clashes with your next set of bars. So I could see quite easily that nine centimetres would give me a nice surround area. So I've scored at nine, and then obviously I want the halfway point of that to have my doily appear from. 
as such, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, and I waffle on and it makes no sense, don't hesitate to get in contact. You can do that via Facebook or YouTube or our website and ask questions. I'm never afraid of answering questions. It's always good. I'd prefer you know what I've done and how I've done it so you can create these at home if you wish to. So we've scored at nine. We're also going to score at four and a half, which is your halfway point. Now, obviously, as you can see, I've got three of these going on. So we need to create that again. If you have a long scoreboard, then, of course, you can just carry on adding your numbers up and keep scoring at the relevant points. So, for instance, your next one would be 13 and a half and so on and so forth. If you haven't, like mine, mine's a little bit shorter, just fold across the last crease that you did. So at the nine point, and then you're going to score again at four and a half and again at nine. And then, if you haven't guessed already, because we've got three bits, we're going to get that out of the way. And we're going to do the same again. Now, if you're wondering what card I like to do this with, uh, on the actual cards I've done today, I've done blue card for one and green card for the other. They are actually the cards that you're getting in your Essentials pack. If you quite like doing a white card base like this, then we do do a sort of Essentials card as well. You get 50 sheets for 4 99 or 100 sheets for £9. And it's really good because it's 300 GSM, so it really stands up to what we're doing. And it won't give way and, and go a bit. Mm, yeah. So yeah, good card if you want to do these because you don't want it falling apart. So you can now see that if we fold this back and forth just quickly... Please excuse my coughing. I have a very ill mum. She's desperately trying to film my video today. And um, bless her, she's trying not to cough, but she's doing very well. So, folded back and forth. Now, you've got this attachment bit here. Now, this bit we can ignore, because this is the bit that we are going to glue onto the back of our next panel. So, we'll chat about that in a minute, because it depends a lot on what side of card you want to put it onto to, to the size panel you need. But we're going to look at our three pieces. So we've got number one, number two, and number three as our actual stand-up points. Now for this, because we want to put these dies appearing out from there, we want to have a template to work with. So I found that the end of my tubs was the right size, but you might have a die to hand or something else that you're happy to draw around. So all we're going to do is hold this in place, making sure that we're not too close to the edge because it'll make it a bit near and a bit weak and we don't want that. And we don't want to be too close to the crease down here and then you're just going to draw around that one. And you'll just draw into the score line. I then found it easier if I did the last one so I could work out the middle one from there. On my first attempt, which I'll show you in a minute, I didn't. I did the middle one next. And then when I did the last one, it looked a bit out of place. So I redid it. Um, but I've now got my first and my last. And we're going to pop this one back in the middle. And we're going to guess because I don't want to keep you waiting. And we're just going to draw around that one. Now at this point, what you need to do is cut this with a knife and you're just going to cut round the lines you've drawn and when you've done that you will end up very blue peter i know i'm afraid with this now this is the part you need for your doilies to go on to now if you wanted to like on my cards i've put backing paper over them first before i've scored them before i've cut them before i've done any work with them but obviously i don't really keep you waiting too long for me to do things like that but this is the perfect size for you to then take your doilies and attach them on the top of them if you wish to. Now, of course, you could change the size of your circles or your half moons, if you like, for the larger doilies if you wanted to, or you could create less of them, bigger cards. The options are endless, really. But if you do like the look of the sort of half moon standout bits, that's all you need to do to create them. Now, from there, because of this just makes the first panel as such, you then need to work out what style of card you want. So for this one, all I've done is cut a piece of card, uh, which is five and a half inches by the same A4 length, and attached it to the side there to just bring out here. And that then makes my actual card. For the other card I've done, the green one, which we haven't really chatted too much about yet, instead of actually taking a piece of card and folded it in half and attached it to the base of that, so this hangs out the front of it, more of a sort of waterfall style card, or a stepper card, if you will, instead of a stand-up. Now, obviously, the options are endless. You could, of course, do it like this on this one and then have another one coming out this side as well. So you could end up with six of them or you could yo-yo where the, the panels are. The options really, truly are endless. But I'm hoping this gives you an idea of just a few ways you could use your doilies if you wanted to. 
So to talk about the actual cards in a bit more detail, obviously on our blue one, as I said earlier, we have our die design number two. Now they have been cut out of the ice gold card and they have been coloured over using chipped sapphire distress inks. Now I don't know how well you're going to pick this up, but they do actually have quite a goldy sheen to them. So if um, you can see that, that is because of that ice gold colour is coming through the inks to give you that sheen. I then just wrapped a few ribbons around mine just to give a bit more interest into the higher areas above and below the actual doilies. And then I've attached one of our dragonflies. Now, if you haven't seen this dragonfly die, this is one that launched on last week's Sunday Showcase. It's only £4.29 and it's a really nice dragonfly die. Um, again, they're available on the website or in store if you like the look of them ones. Underneath my sentiment panel in here, I've also attached part of doily number seven. Now, of course, they are quite large doilies, but it doesn't mean you have to use the whole doily all of the time. Why not cut them down and just use them as an edgeable uh, or a, a border, basically? There's quite a few things we can do with them by hiding the, the sort of joins underneath ribbons or like this under the card. And it just gives you a nicer edge as well, doesn't it? It fills in that void and um, hopefully gives you a nice looking effect. So that one, as I say, is die number seven. Now back onto this one. Now this one we haven't really chatted too much about. This is using die number one. So again, this is just one of the 3 99 ones. I've pinched it round so I've got them sort of cupped effects. I've punched out a circle to go in the middle of it. And then I've used the pearl alphabets. Now these actually started off cream or white. Um, again, you got these in a, in a centrals pack a few weeks ago. But if you haven't seen them, they're really cheap. They're only £1.29. And you get the whole alphabet on a sheet. But obviously I didn't really like the fact they were quite light. So I've coloured over the top of them using an alcohol marker just to tone them in with my card a bit more. The paper once again comes out of your essentials packs. That's a beautiful sheet. And then you're getting your first look here at the, that embossed one that we looked at again from your essentials pack. I really do just think that gives the illusion of depth without actually having to do too much work. You'll also notice on here, I've got a few little butterflies dotted around. Oh, here's our third one. They actually come out of the fairy die set. Now, if you haven't seen this one before, it's one that we've stocked for the last couple of years, but I really like the size and design of that fairy. Uh, of course, uh, sorry, butterfly. Um, but it comes in with a fairy set. You also get a really nice little butterfly as well. And that set's only $7.99. If you do wish to order that one via text or on Facebook or YouTube, just let us know that you want code fairy and we'll have that one held for you. Um, of course, it is available on the website as well if you haven't seen it before. So let's move on to our few more cards. So this time we're going for a bit of a Christmas effect. Now, as I said earlier, that teal really does cut lovely. So this is your glitter card in teal. I've then turned them into baubles just by putting bigger circles on the back of them. Now, I'm sure you've possibly already got circular dies. If you haven't, then we do do a great set. Now, in here, you can see you're getting literally loads of dies for your money. This set is only $14.99. And if you'd like them, you can just use code circle dies and we will have them held for you. Again, they're available on the website if you are ordering that way. But they're the perfect backings to all of your doilies and do give you an awful lot of options of different options of what we can do with them. So as you can see, in this one, at the background here, we have doily number six or die number six. That's one of our 5 99 ones. Moving forward, we have die number three. That's one of your 3 99 ones. And then at the very front, we have die number one, which again is 3 99 Now, doesn't it look so much different on here to there? Now, bearing in mind, they're the same die, just cut in different cardstock used for two very different themes. But that's the beauty of these dies. You really can change what you want them to be or the theme you want them to fit just by the colours you cut them in and how you dress them up. And a bit of bling on this one really does make it fit that sort of modern Christmas effect, doesn't it? Obviously, I've just added ribbons to make the, the look of a bauble and tied a few bows to the top of them. Around the edge here, you can see them um, rhinestones or them bling lines, which are actually coming out of your essentials pack again. So really good value once again for that. I've even cut some of the individual ones off of the line so that they matched for the, the actual parts I've added to my um, baubles. But of course, you don't have to if you don't want to. But it is nice to have them all match. So that was our Christmas one. And I hope you like that one because it's one of my first Christmas cards I've really done. I know we've done a couple on um, showcases, but not a lot. And there will be more to come. Moving on, this time we have die number seven. So this is our 
Die number seven is shaped out of the middle here. Now, don't forget we show you how you could really change about your shapes with this one, depending on which way you wanted to fold it. But this is die seven. And then in the middle, I've punched a couple of circles, just stamped a sentiment on the middle of it. In the background, you're getting one of your first looks at that really lovely floral paper from your essentials pack. And again, the blue here is, again, um, gone over with chip sapphire over the top of the ice gold white. So you may be seeing a bit of sheen come through on that one too, which is really nice if you are going to work with gold mirror board or, or pearl card, because it really does give that same sort of gold sheen as those do, and really just tie it all in a bit more. Again, you've got your ribbons from your essentials pack. This is that wide, nice, satin-edged sheer ribbon that you're going to get a metre of again, so quite a nice part of your essentials pack there. Moving on to our next card, this one has die number five on it. Now this is one of our 5.99 ones, one of the larger dies. And this one's been a bit of a favorite today out of all of my visitors who have seen me working away. Um, everyone seems to really love this. So it, just to explain it quite quickly, Again, we've got one of them circular aperture cards that we see from your essentials pack. I've just put some grey card on the inside and stuck on one of the dies. So this is just one of them cut out of the ice gold at the bottom. Uh, over the front of the card, I've laid another bit of grey card and one of our patterned papers from your essentials pack, that really lovely embossed one. Cut the hole out of the middle of it so you could then still see the bits behind it. And then I've taken another one of the die cuts of your actual doily number five or die number five. And then I've pinched me edges to get that stand up bit again. In the centre, we have the butterfly that's from the fairy die set we looked at a little earlier. And on the edge, we have a bit of that really lovely ribbon from your essentials pack again, which nice, makes a nice bow, doesn't it? And just ties all the colours in together quite nicely. So a really quick and easy card to do. Um, really not complicated. And hopefully you'll, you'll like it too, but it's... um quite easy to do so hopefully one you can create again if you wish to um next up we have another one that i've started off i've actually made this one myself again so this started off as an a4 sheet i've cut it down a little and uh, obviously you can pick whichever width you wish to and then i've just added a couple of score lines so first of all i've scored it at 12 and a half centimeters to make my crease here and then from the other end of it i've scored it at one inch and two inches so 12 and a half from this side in and one and two inches from that side in just to make my little step fronted card and then on the front of it we've added the die number six so that's again your 5.99 doily and then we've got panels behind using both of the paper from your essentials pack and the ice gold card again to go behind them and then we've of course got the ice gold card cut out so on the front here with the matching white card stock for your butterflies again the butterflies are from that fairy set so they really did tie in quite nicely today, didn't they? For our next card, this one started off actually as a normal A5 card. Um, nothing at all fancy about it, just an ordinary A5 card. I've then taken my paper. Now this is that really lovely Victorian paper that you're gonna get in your essentials pack. I've cut out the banners and bars and bits I wanted to, and I've stuck them onto it. I've then, on the reverse of my cards, I've stuck everything I wanted to on the front. On the reverse, I've used a plate, just an ordinary side plate from your crockery set, drawn around it, and then I've cut it with scissors to shape it to make my uh, circular-ish card. Now, these are quite nice because you can stand them in quite a lot of directions, depending on how you weight down each side will be depending on how it actually stands. Or, of course, you can create them into rocker cards instead. And it's really simple to do and not much different to making a standard card other than you've just cut a few bits off of it. Of course, to decorate this, we have our die number four, which again is one of the larger ones. So it's only 5 dollars In the middle of it, I've actually used one of the strips of, of um, border off of the matching paper and turned it into a little rosette. And then again, I've added on a few of the butterflies and a few pearls just to bling it up a little bit. Um, but quite a simple card to do once again. And again, something you could fit to so many themes. I know a lot of you really are starting to think of Christmas. This is one of them ones that could be adapted to Christmas so easily. Moving on to our penultimate card today, we have on this one, die number three. Now this is one of your smaller doilies, so it's only 3 99 uh, And I wanted to show you a couple of different uses for it this time. So not only do we have our doily just popped in the middle, which is actually suspended on a little bit of the ribbon 
that you're going to get in your essentials pack. I've also cut it into quarters. So here's one I've got as a spare. And I've just cut it down into quarters, literally from the die, to show you how you could tuck this in and make them into little corner elements. Which is quite nice because it gives you another use for your die. Now, of course, you could do this with pretty much any of the designs we're looking at today. So if it is something you quite like the idea of, it really could be used for pretty much all of them. And it does just give you a different way and use of actually tying your bits together. And um, another cost effective way, doesn't it? It saves you buying a matching corner when you've got one already in there. So as I say, this is die number three. It's only 3 99 So to think you're getting corner and oily for that, really bargain. And then again, around the edge of this one, we have more of our essential pack of papers, papers. Uh, I love that one. I think that is beautiful. And of course, you're seeing more of the green cardstock behind it just to actually accentuate the colours that you're seeing inside it. And then my last card today, uh, this one's a really simple one. I've gone for a bit more of a modern effect this time. This time we have one of our free fold aperture cards now don't forget you're getting two of these in your essentials pack now they're normally designed that you do your work in the in this aperture part you fold over the other side and seal it shut and then you have just an ordinary aperture card nice and simple all of our apertures that we sell in store work on the same theory and these come in multiple sizes and multiple shapes so if you like this idea you could do a lot more with it than just these but you will be getting one in your essentials pack if you want to have a go all I've done is instead of folding this bit over to seal it, I've just folded it in half on a scoreboard so it creates my first um, easel part to my card. Nice and simple, added a bit of craft card, stamped on it and a die cut of a butterfly and a little sentiment at the front. And then actually in the, the part, the fancy part of it if you like, I've cut all of my dies out of craft card. I've used this little corner, which was launched on a showcase many, many moons ago. It's only 5 99 so if you do want a matching corner, this one is quite nice. Uh, if you do wish to order it via Facebook or YouTube or via text or phone, then just give us code um, die corner. That'll be fine, and we will have that one held for you. And then in the middle, we, of course, have our die number six. Now, as I said earlier, although it is a sealed in one, one just a circle, I think that looks stunning in there. And really lovely and again so many things you could do with it to dress it up for different occasions if you wanted to and that one again is only 5 99 so that completes your cards for today um, as I say all of our cards will go onto our Pinterest page so if you do want to have a closer look at these or go on and pin them so you can hold on to them you can a little cheeky insight as well all of these cards will be on our website so if you do want to go to the Sunday showcase tab on our website you can see all of the dies and all of the cards long before we share them on Facebook and Twitter and things like that. Uh, we tend to upload one or two a day throughout the next week. But if you do want to get in quickly and have a, a close up on them, then you can do via the website. There is even a magnifier, so you can zoom in and see all of the wonky bits. And a little phone pad lids I've forgot to take off or left on by mistake. Uh, see all of the bits what I've done wrong. But it's quite a nice way for you to have a little close up if you wish to. Just to run through these before I let you go, we of course have your seven dies. We'll start off with die one. This is one of your 3.99 smaller ones. We then have die number two, which you get is 3.99. Die number three, which is 3.99. Now we jump up to the slightly larger ones. These are the approximately four inch ones. Die number four is 5.99. Die number five is 5.99. Die number six is 5.99. And die number seven is 5.99. Once again, if you simply can't choose and you want all seven, we certainly wouldn't blame you. You can buy our mega bundle, which gives you all seven dies for just £30. Now, this should cost you £35 and 93p. And it does make each die less than £4.30 a die, which really is just silly, silly, silly money. So um, I'm sure you're going to appreciate that offer and get in quick if you like that one. Of course, we also have your essentials pack. Now, hopefully, after seeing some of the things you can make with this, you fell in love with it just as much as we have. This gives you just under £18 worth of stuff. It's approximately £17.99 is your recommended retail price. And you can have all of this for just £12. Once again, if you do like the look of this, don't hang about. Get in quickly because I do think they're going to go fast as they have done the last couple of weeks. Now, if you haven't ordered from us before, uh, you can do that by text. You can pop onto Facebook or YouTube and you can let us know in the comments of this video the items you would like and the store you wish to collect them from. And we will have them held for you up until 5pm on Saturday the 12th of May 2018. 
if you wish to, you can go to our website where you can click and collect, which means you can actually tell us which store you wish to collect from, and we'll have the items held for you. You can either pay for them there and then if you wish to, using PayPal or card, or you can choose an offline payment, meaning that you'll pay when you come in store and collect them. Or you could, of course, have them posted to you. Now, we get asked this every week. Can we um, buy internationally? Yes, you can. It's not a problem. Anywhere in the world, we will send you our products. Never an issue. Just check out the Frequently Asked Questions page on our website, and it will tell you how our international shipping works. That's a bit more long-winded, so I'll let you read that one for yourself and find out all the details. But if you do live in the UK and wish to have our items sent to you, again, this isn't a problem. If you spend over £35 on UK I, uh, for postage in the UK, uh, over £35 is completely free, no PMP charges whatsoever. If you spend under £35, then there is a flat rate charge of just £2.75, and that applies to all products and all orders. But of course today, if you was to go for the mega bundle of the dies and the essential pack, it's only going to cost you £42, you're going to be saving a fortune, and you're going to get free PMP. So I'm sure a lot of you will be opting for that one. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Once again, congratulations today. I hope you enjoy your £50 worth of vouchers. Uh, if you didn't win today, then don't panic because I'm sure we'll be doing a raffle again shortly. So keep an eye out for them. Of course, we'll be back next Sunday with another new video and every Sunday thereafter. So I'm sure you'll soon get a raffle again. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully see you all next week. Bye for now. Bye bye.